Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl work again with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Princess. I document about my life here in Poland. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, yeah. please subscribe. If you're watching, hit the notification, hit everything, you know, all those things. <laughs> Just subscribe to the family. And yes, let's dive into this video. One of the aim of this channel is to help you guys guide you through in your journey of life here in Poland or anywhere else that I see myself. So, but now I'm still in Poland. So I just want to say, point out some things because I got some um, questions or some, um, I got some, should I say some email that are quite disturbing quite a lot of people really wanted to come and study here in January, in February semester. And some of you have actually gone through the process of um, sending your document to your schools, doing all those things, which I really, really, really applaud you guys for doing. And yeah, and you have been able to do all these things by yourself. And now you need help from me about the visa and all that <laughs> guys i don't really help with visas what i do is that i help guide you through tell you things that you can do to help you so as we all know that the pandemic has really 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 hit everybody hard everywhere in the world everybody's trying to manage and things people are shut even currently now in poland there's a lockdown but not completely locked down like we are back to working from home and everything has come back to online so i would just say that everything now is still not very clear so i've gotten messages from people from africa saying oh i i am calling the embassy they are not replying they're not picking up because now they have changed the rules you have to call the phone number and they will pick and then give you the slot or the date and you have to provide some information for them to use and book you in for you to get an appointment then you can submit your document for your visa applications so and so many people are complaining that they're not getting through yes guys because of this the whole thing that is happening you might not get through because they just want to make sure that every everything is settled before they let people in before everything so i would just say my own if you want to listen to my own advice is that you just wait guys just wait and see how the whole thing stands out i know so many of you if like so many so many so many want to really get on with their life they don't want the pandemic to stop them they really want to go abroad and study they really they have waited a long time and the opportunity has finally showed up and now this yes because I understand but what is most important for you is for you to come at the right time and do things the right way because I just feel that the schools here apparently they can give you admission but they're not the consulate they don't know what is going on in the embassy and all that they want to give you admission because you're paying them the fees so they cannot even decline that so they give you all the documents that you need to go to the embassy but they're not going to call the embassy for you you know so i just imagine that you got an admission and it's difficult for you to go to the embassy to get an admission and you have paid your fees and all that some of these fees are non-refundable for example your admission fee is non-refundable so what do you do okay some of them they say they'll give you 70 percent of your school fees i don't know if it's true but still what i'm trying to say is that I will encourage anyone that is trying to apply for studies now to please wait and see how the whole thing turns out um, in the world, you know, because I have some of my friends that are that are studying already here that maybe in their 200 uh, second year or third year that they went home during the summer and they are not back yet because of the COVID and they are actually having their lessons online. They are in their homes having their lessons only if that is what you want if you want to actually join online because basically everything has gone online the studies online everything is online so if that is what you want okay that's fine you can you can study online and you're not here because 
apart from the people that are coming from other places in the world that is not basically not Africa or maybe some part of Africa, they can actually give you visa if they are. But, but people from Nigeria, to be precise, I am sorry, the embassy, I don't know what is happening. At the time of recording this video, there's still no positive reply from them, from people that I knew that have been calling. So I don't know, my, my, my suggestion to anyone is to please relax, calm down. I'm not saying you should just wait and do nothing. For, for the fact that you're trying to come and you're ready, is the time for you to actually research more about the schools, research more about Poland, think about things you can actually come and do, not only studying, like there's so many things you can actually use this time of the pandemic to do. So that when you come, you won't feel stranded, you already know more about the um, about the system and how to how to um, settle in what you need and all these kind of things the kind of places you need to stay all these kind of things you can just have you use this time to do your research and so that way you come here you don't feel stranded also you can also do other things there are some businesses or something you can also add to yourself so that when you come here you can also do it doing taking the time out to actually do some research on yourself by by yourself do some things that actually might add value to you when you're studying or while studying what you can actually use for example to help yourself even if the type of job you want you can actually research what is the possibility of me getting this type of job in this country what is the forecast saying what is the job market talking about all this kind of thing can just take your time to do a proper research so that when you come you won't be surprised. You won't say, oh, that's not what I learned from Mr. Chichi's video or this is not what I learned from this person's channel. We are sharing our experience, but experiences are different. So I would recommend and say that we wait for now and see how things turn out next year. I know so many people are so, so tired of staying at home. They want to just go study, do what they want to do, escape from parents and all that. It's good, but just consider yourself, instead of wasting this money, paying this school fees, I don't know when your visa is coming. It's better for you to know that, okay, I'm ready, I'm prepared. When the time comes, I'm getting in. You can even create a communicate, a rapport with your school that you're aiming to. I know some of you might not want to hear this because they oh, princess, you're there, you don't understand. I really do understand and I feel sorry for the parents and the sponsors that are going to pay such money and you get the admission. And you actually don't get the visa. The schools will give you the admission, but it is the embassies, the consulates that are going to give you the visa. That is all I'm going to say because I've gotten so many questions about this and what they want, what I advise them to do. What I advise you to do is to wait and let everything that is happening now calm down. Yeah, that's it guys. I'm sure you guys will be like, why am I so serious? But this is very important. I just wanted to air it out there. And I know some people might not like it, but that's just the, the truth. If you want the truth, this is it. Relax and everything will be fine. And for all of you that are trying to get your admission, I wish you best of luck. Those that are trying to get their visas, best of luck. Those that already got theirs that are coming in February, hope to see you all when you come. Just write me my Instagram, Princess Chichi, and yeah, my email, Princess Chichi Fabs, and we'll keep in touch. So, as always, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.